Great Basin National Park isn't really on the way to anywhere. Head to this remote stretch of the Nevada desert, and you could easily spend an entire day wandering the pines by yourself. But if you go home when the sun goes down, you'll have missed one of Great Basin's greatest attractions. As they're fond of saying, half of this park is after dark. This is what Great Basin looks like at night. The stars shine so brightly here because this place is so unbelievably dark. We're pretty rare. Um, this is one of, if not the darkest place in the lower 48. Annie Gilliland is part of a special team of stargazers at Great Basin. We are the Dark Rangers, yes, which I do love telling people I'm a Dark Ranger here. <laughs> the Dark Rangers lead nighttime programs, setting up telescopes, and showing off distant galaxies to people who may be seeing them for the very first time. What's it like seeing something like this? It makes me think our world is so small and the galaxy out there is so big our minds can't even imagine it. Great Basin is less than 300 miles away from the Las Vegas Strip, the brightest spot on Earth when viewed from space. Protecting the skies out here has become a priority for the park. Having a dark night, very different from the daylight, matters to all the wildlife here, uh, the plants and trees as well, and human health. This year, after redoing all of its lighting, the park was certified as one of just a handful of international dark sky parks and has been promoting itself as one of the last places to see what's becoming an endangered natural resource. All aboard! During the summer, what's your name? Visitors can join a ranger on star trains, hopping into historic rail cars and heading out into the desert to see what the night sky would have looked like across most of America a hundred years ago. Today, over two-thirds of Americans can't see the Milky Way from their backyards. No the Alexis Wood no, came all the way out from St. Louis to take a look. Light could, you know, just reach us from millions and millions of years away. That's been traveling forever, and it's just suddenly getting to me. This one individual person on this, you know, planet, backwater of the galaxy, and yeah, it's just kind of amazing. It's hard not to have that reaction when you look up to the heavens. As a wise man, or two or three, once said, they're stars of wonder, stars of night.